All right, so we might have just gotten a pretty big hint almost at a GT celebration upcoming this year. Um, it seems like, oh, I'll explain this here. Uh, Rick did post this, thanks very much to Rick here. With the version 5.17.0 update on January JP, they updated the scrolling text on this screen, which is the black smoke screen that Dragon Ball is used during the fourth anniversary, which is a very, that's a very long time ago, man. The last time that was used, but of course it is the smoke screen Dragon Balls, which of course, um, I think the fourth anniversary celebration is here. It's not actually, that's crazy that the fourth anniversary, uh, like they don't have the JP version, but I think they have the global version of the fourth anniversary, right? If I'm not mistaken, which is pretty much the same thing. But um, I believe, is there a way like the Dragon Balls that you collected? something around here where you're able to collect the dragon balls um the black star dragon balls right and with that you know you're able to make a wish basically um or like it was like it was like that red shona that appeared but anyways apparently this only says select menu during the fourth anniversary but then now they did update this right which you know it wouldn't really make sense uh, to update this for no reason a lot of times when Dokkan goes back to update things They have something in plan for it something nearby or at least related to it If not like, you know when they touch update like a card or something like that, like we get something similar like um, That'll be appearing in Dokkan and updating this is really interesting the GG Dragon Balls, right? <laughs> um so could this mean one of the major celebrations Tanabata or worldwide is gt because most likely they won't really do like the dragon balls here for i don't know like let's say in may you know or like at the end of may dokkan fest like i doubt we're gonna get something related to the dragon balls not that it's impossible but this has been something in the game since january and again Tanabata worldwide celebration is a good thought However, last Tanabata was GT already. And I don't think that they're going to do GT two years in a row for Tanabata. That's not something I would expect. Not that it can't happen, but it's like something that I just don't like see them doing GT two years in a row. If you guys get what I mean. Um, like even like though we had GT like multiple times, like so many times, like um like during anniversary most of the time it doesn't repeat though so i guess the year eight year eight wasn't really like a gt theme we had a gt characters and events though so i don't know um i think worldwide is a really 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 good shot here for the gt celebration that we could see this year now there is speculation on this because if you take a look here again we got this support memory awakening and if you guys aren't aware about it if you're a global player for instance you may not be aware what happened is during the ninth anniversary we got the extra stage here for the ultimate red zone movie edition we got stage eight the boss rush and with this boss rush we were able to basically awaken this kakarot um support member right here which does give it a huge extra buff 20 percent stats for seven turns for movie heroes is a uh, pretty big right and obviously with the movies red zone that came out you know what else came out we got the gt bosses red zone um essentially right the gt edition for the red zone so with that um it'll make a lot of sense if we get stage eight for this right where we fight sin general and all the other shadow dragons and everything like that right um and we would get an awakening for this GT, you know, GT hero support memory. We would get an awakening for that. That's just something that we were thinking is going to happen. And, you know, it makes sense that that's applied to a big celebration. But then now this as well is another thing where it's like, you know, these Dragon Balls are only going to be something that we'll see for a major celebration. Even furthermore, um, it seems like the GT logo showed up in the Meikuji marketing, implying we're going to get GT themed, like, um... Dragon Ball merch soon to percent for it's kind of overcooked but plenty they could still do so again they are likely going to be doing a lot of like GT figures as well so maybe it's possible that they start really pushing GT maybe leading up to Daima even or something like that right because I guess Daima Goku obviously 
does become a kid again as well, just like he did in GT. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But I mean, you may think like I feel like I don't know, like earlier before the 10th anniversary, even I was someone who was like, I don't know if they're going to do another big GT celebration like really too soon. I know a lot of people want a GT for um, worldwide or New Year's. And I'm like, it's a little too early. Like even last New Year's when we got Rudy Garden and um, Goku, people wanted Baby versus Goku. And I was like, maybe a little too early for that. But now we're getting to the point where it's like, not really anymore, right? I mean, we have... S tier Super Vegeta who is Yade. And then these two characters came out before S tier Super Vegeta, right? He came out in August of 2021. These characters came out in April uh, of 2021. Along with that, we have Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta who came out in 2020. And he has yet to get an EZA. He's upcoming on his EZA, man. Um, so we have a lot of EZAs here that we could potentially see, right? Uh, just like even in terms of main EZAs. LR Super 17, another EZA character that we could easily see. This character has not gotten an Extreme Z Awakening, the Battlefield Legion of Shadow Dragons, which they're not really far off either, right? Where could I... Like the Battlefield Memory Shop, because we just got the EZA for... Babadin Debora, and guess who's next? The Legion of Shadow Dragons is the next character, and I don't I don't think they're going to drop it so soon during Tanabata. Um... It's po yeah, dude, worldwide. Like, that makes a lot of sense. If they just drop this guy during a GT worldwide celebration, that'll be on both versions. And they give him his easy hit. Because we know that by, like, August time, both versions are going to be synced in terms of the same Battlefield number. Right? They've been skipping Battlefields and Global. That's another character that can get an Extreme Z Awakening. We see that, you know, they're super easy A's as well. So, like, I mean, but super easy A's, I think it'll be very likely we could see EGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku get their super easy A's. Not impossible at all, for sure. I mean, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, when did that guy come out? Like, let me let me take a look here because we obviously just got tech super saiyan 3 go tanks is a uh, super easy a very recently in both versions and it's probably surprising but this guy was a few months before right yeah he came out august 2016 and then these guys came out in january of 2017 so that's six months apart it's not that far of a stretch which you know I, I, again maybe it'll be surprising to a lot of people but like during that that entire stretch of a year from the first anniversary all the way to the um to the second anniversary we had super gogeta the 70 percent meta then during the second anniversary we got the 120 percent meta then and during the worldwide celebration that year after the second anniversary we got the category meta which is the meta we were in the 150 percent leaders 170 percent leaders all the way until seventh anniversary so um it was that was a funny year but again these guys can get their super easy easily there's more easy A's that we could see. This in baby, uh, this um, physical pan, STR trunks, where is this tech trunks even, AGL trunks are here. Like, you, okay, let me close with some of these tabs. This character is an easy A, uh, banner unit from second anniversary, banner unit from second anniversary. Like, these are like some of the older banner units in the game right now that just don't have easy A's at all. Like, they, they just don't have easy A's. A lot of these characters came out during the ninth anniversary. Some of them will awaken during the second anniversary. Like the uh, this Angel Trunks are here awaken during the second anniversary. Um, but like, you know, the STR Trunks, Physical Pan. This guy. I don't think he has an easy A. Yeah, this Super Saiyan 2 GT Goku. Right, he can get an easy A. But yeah, m again, mostly this uh, STR Pan. We had the... I think it's the... STR trunks this guy right is i didn't even rig up this trunks right that's another super saiyan trunks and get an easy a this in baby and then who else came out uh there's one other character that i can't find you know and two other characters that can get easy ace here like there's so many easy ace this super saiyan 3 gt goku this super saiyan 3 gt vegeta right these guys have not gotten easy ace they awakened with um the lr super saiyan 4 medals right uh yep they awakened no actually yeah, no, this is, these are the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku models, if I'm not mistaken. No, no actually, this is the year 2 ones. My bad, my bad, my bad. Because these guys' uh, Awakenings came out in 
November. Yeah, this just came out at a random time, which is very interesting. Um, so I mean, there's there's tons. Oh, yeah, is it this no this physical physical sun got an ECA? I forgot what was the other ban unit that came out with Super Saiyan Four Goku. I actually genuinely forgot who it was. Was it? Uh, it might have been this guy. I don't know. There's also like the GT Goten and Trunks, the Goten and Gohan, right? That's another character. But like, I guess just to end things, who could the main units be? I'm honestly gonna guess a transforming. Oh yeah, no, exactly this guy. This is the other character. It's Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. I think it's gonna be a Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku, maybe Golden Ape, that transforms into Super Saiyan 4 Goku. It could be a thing where he also has a standby transformation, I guess. But that might potentially mess with the in LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which would suck a little. But uh, yeah, we could easily see Super Saiyan 3 Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan 4 Goku. 100% that's a character that we need representation for. Obviously, I'm thinking like a transforming Super Baby 1 that transforms into Super Baby 2. I think that'd make a lot of sense. Part 2, I'm thinking a transforming Sin Shenron into Omega. I think that'd be great. Then we could also get... Uh, I guess just like a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I mean, it's been a while since we had a standalone Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. This is the last standalone Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I know people are like, oh, we see him doing anniversary all the time. Ha <laughs> ha. Because we got the year 7 LR. We got the year 8 LR. Right. But um, getting another standalone version of just Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as a name would be fine. It could also be transforming Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Right. But that's my idea. Um... I don't know. I'm going to just get this video out. I want to know what you guys are thinking, what you guys would like to see from a GT Worldwide Celebration or even Tanabata. Tanabata is possible. I just don't think it'll be Tanabata. I'm very confident it's going to be the Worldwide Celebration, honestly, this year, especially with all this information. A lot of things are pointing to it, man. Um, but again, let me know what y'all want to see. I think I made a little post here. Yeah, I get this. This is my theory here. Um... They're not super easing the years twos that soon. I mean, they literally again tech go tanks. Tech go tanks came out six like six months prior. Not impossible to see that happen. I'm just live tweeting. Whatever. I'm done. Thanks y'all for watching. I'll catch you all next time.